Hi guys, this is Dr. Bupesh once again for you all. And we are here to discuss the reading part B and C today. This is one of the readings we are covering today. And I will try to read the questions quickly for you. And without wasting any time, let's see if we have exam today, how to go about it. So how much time we should uh, spend in practicality? Normally I teach very slow. It's my habit to teach slow so that I can make you understand every part. But I will try to be a little fast today. Let's see how do I contribute. A study by the Perry and Mally, Pally Mounter and her colleagues found that. Again, I always pay first attention to my tenses. So that means they are talking about past. Found means second form. So it is very important to notice. So Pally Mounter and her colleagues, what did they found? Did? What did they find? Did means second form past. So in question marks, did plus first form. So normally it is past indefinite. Okay. The excitement began the last week when the journal Science published the findings of three groups which have been working on the protein. The results in the obese mice with a defective gene that prevents them making the protein were dramatic. So they are basically talking about that there was uh, some kind of research ongoing. <coughs> and the excitement began the last week. The results in the obese mice with a defective gene means there were some obese mice. They were having some kind of defective gene. And uh, in that, that defective gene was not allowing them to make protein. That is what they are saying with a defective gene that prevents them from making the protein. So defective gene is not letting the protein to be made. So now my keywords, this is where I will focus more. Pally Mounter, because that is my question. Pally Mounter and her colleagues at Amgen gave the obese mice uh, shots of protein every day for a month. Those on the highest dose lost 20% of their weight. Before treatment, these mice overate. We had this conversation before as well. So basically it is about the mice that the mice were obese. Then their protein dose was given. So what did protein do? Protein helped them to make everything normal. So before the treatment, mice overate. They had low metabolic rate, low temperature and raised level of glucose and insulin in their blood. So basically before the treatment, everything was something that was leading to obesity, having glucose, having insulin, lower temperature, lower metabolic rate. Obviously they will, it will make the mice obese. The protein uh, brought all these back to normal and all this information is given in inverted commas. Inverted commas are very important to be not noted. That means this whole thing has been said by Pally Mounter. So my question was about Pally Mounter and everything is given in the inverted comma. So these are the words. So if I try, if I'm sitting in the exam, which line would I focus from this to this? More sig significantly in terms of potential for a human slimming drug, the treatment for the humans, the treatment also worked on the normal mice, which lost what little fat they had. So now the paragraph is big. They are saying, so the obese mice became slim and the mice who were already normal, they were not obese. They also lost some weight. They also lost the fat. They lost about three to 5% of their body weight, almost all it in the form of fat. So whatever weight the mice was losing, everything was in the form of fat. That means if we take any drug and that is the fat burner, then it should only help us to lose the fat. So that is what this drug is doing. According to Pally Mounter. So again, this is according to Pally Mounter means this is also important. This is important because no one has identified a mutation in the human OBGB. Uh, sorry. They lost three to 5% of their body weight, almost all in the form of fat. This is important because no one has identified a mutation in the human OB gene. Now they are applying this fundamental to humans from mice. They are coming to humans that in humans, nobody has been able to find a defective gene. That might lead to obesity, suggesting that whatever the cause for obesity, the OB protein might still help to lose weight. Now again, grammar that OB protein might help to lose weight in humans. But my question was about Pally Mounter. So Pally, Pally Mounter did all the study related to mice. So now I will try my options. If I am little fast today, please listen to recording again. But I, I will try to cover every point like always. Okay. So now I will go to my options. Let's see what are my options. So they have done all the research in the mice and the OB protein is a very good protein that is helping the mice to lose weight, 
to become normal and everything. The OB protein caused people to lose weight. No, that is where elimination happens. Elimination man means that you have to find a certain word that helps you. Sorry, I'm putting my mic on uh, phone on mute. Yeah. So, so you have to find just one word. This is what elimination means. So now how does grammar play into action? I will read the complete line. So whenever you do the answer, always read the complete line. A study by L uh, Pally Mountain and her colleagues found that OB protein caused people to lose weight. And they are saying it caused mice to lose weight. People did not lose weight. It is not certain that in people they will lose weight or not. People means human. So this option is ruled out. Ruled out means eliminated. A defect, a deficiency in the OB protein had caused obesity in the subjects. So that is all good because deficiency in the OB protein is causing the obesity that was given somehow. A defective gene resulted in the production of OB protein. A defective gene, a defective gene prevents the production of prevents the production of protein does not result in the production of protein 100% wrong so when you are not certain about b option even i was not 100% sure but then this is elimination method a is out because of the word people defective gene resulted in the production of protein no no defective gene prevented the production of protein so these two lines are good enough for me that's it that is how in exam you can do that like this now I'm jumping on to fifth and sixth question because rest, they are saying they are fine with other questions. If there would be any, I will cover that. But yeah, now jumping on to fifth question. And I'm also doing that recording today. Normally we do not do recording of reading and listening, but many people have not been able to attend class. So I'm doing it for you all. The article published in pharmacology and toxicology. All right. Jones who carried out his research at Stockholm has charted that biochemistry linked with hangovers. His latest research published in the current issue of pharmacology and toxicology. Here are my keywords. So even if I do not understand first line too much, I don't bother because my keywords are in the second line. So strongly implicates methanol as the main cause of hangovers. So methanol is the main cause of hangover. Confirms that Hangovers result from methanol can be right, can be wrong. But A option is little dicey because it is saying that hangovers result from methanol. It looks like that they are trying to say that hangovers are due to methanol only. Second line claims that methanol causes hangovers. So methanol as the main cause of hangover, methanol is the main cause of hangover. Obviously, that means that methanol causes hangovers. So according to me, I am not quite dicey about it. And we have always talked about that we should not overthink even if this question goes wrong in the exam, but I will not overthink. I will do it as B and will try to move on. Even if it is wrong, because this is an easy question can cause me to panic because again, when the questions are very easy, then you feel like, how can it be that easy? But again, even A option is right. I am not saying A option is wrong, but I have to do a better option. So I'm going with the word strongly implicates means that claims methanol causes hangovers. So I'm okay with it that methanol causes hangovers because methanol is the main cause of hangovers. So methanol causes hangovers is not wrong as per me. So I will not overthink and little bit I am dicey about this word as well confirms. Confirms means 100% confirm and they are saying strongly implicates strongly implicates should go with claim more so that is why I'm not taking I'm not overthinking and doing a I'm just doing B I won't I don't want to overthink and even in the exam if this question goes wrong I will not panic because I understand yeah I would I have to think easy and that is what Dr. BKM has taught us think easy now the next question this is uh, about all of the following are true of the hair of the drug, except this word is so important. I always, I always teach you, see, reading is not something that you should be worried about. You should have a calm mind means if you will go fast, more questions will go wrong. You have to be a little slow. So now this question is accept, accept word means we have to find the false option. 
So all of the following are true about the hair of the dog. Except that means we have to find something false. Okay. So Jones that hep hep hepatic hydrogenase enzyme. So there is an enzyme ADH break down methanol in the body. Okay. That's fine. Because his drug 4MP is a potential inhibitor of these enzymes. It should cure hangovers. So he's talking about a drug named as 4MP. And uh, you know a, what 4MP does? It cures hangover. It should cure hangover. It does not cure. It should cure hangover. Jones hypothesis may help to explain about some popular beliefs about ill, flag, Ill effects of again. I am not reading it too nicely just because my question is about hair of the dog and I have not got my keyword. That is where I save time. This is the strategy to save time. For instance, hair of the dog now is my turn. So it's all about question. It's all about the keyword of the question. So here of the dog, a drink in the next morning is said to be a short term cure for a hangover. Short term cure means it is not a long term cure means it will just cure the hangover for short term. That obviously mean that it is not a long term cure. That means hangover will not totally disappear. It will be just a short term cure. It works in Jay's uh, says Jones because the drink lifts the level of ethanol in the blood. What does drink do? Increases the level of ethanol. So what does hair of the dog do? Increases the level of ethanol in the blood. A is absolutely right. But uh, I have to find the accept. So I have to find a false option. So A is correct. So A cannot be my answer because I have to find what is true about hair of the dog except. Except means I have to find a false option. This was the trick of the question. So in hurry, we might do A. But please understand they are asking about the word accept. So you have to find false. So this is not my answer. And if I read this line, uh, this drink is a short term cure. That means it does not cure a hangover. It delays. This can also be right. Just simply saying. I hope you guys can understand it nicely. If I say short term cure, that means it does not cure. It, it will just delay the hangover short term. Like if I say any medication is a short term relief for headache. So that means headache will come back. So A and C are true and B becomes my answer. This is what I call again elimination method. Please listen to this video again and again to understand how easy can we make it. But if you are someone, sir, no, you are doing it because you already know it. Okay, then. ADH isoenzymes have a higher affinity for ethanol. So they switch from degrading methanol. That means ADH enzymes have higher affinity means high, higher attraction. ADH enzymes have higher attraction for ethanol. So they switch from, from is the word. They switch from degrading methanol. That means they switch from degrading methanol to ethanol. That means they do not de de they do not degrade methanol because they switch from degrading. That means they are not degrading methanol. They switch from this place to some other place. And B option is saying it speeds up the breakdown of methanol. No, it switch from methanol to ethanol because they are they have higher affinity for ethanol. So that was another hint to do it false. Again, please think about it. Today I have tried to be little fast because sometimes I'm very slow and, and I don't do recordings as well. So these things will definitely help you to understand in a better way. I hope you all have understood the point. I'm just going to unmute you to ask if there is any doubt in these three questions because I have done it in the fast way today. So I will like to ask you for any doubt. I have unmuted you guys. You can ask me anything about these three questions. First, fifth, and sixth. Any questions, please? Guys, any question among first, fifth, and sixth? No, sir. Sure, everybody. First question is all right. First question is all right. That yes, is yes, sir. Very yes, sir. Yes, sir. You do not pay attention to the word people. Sometimes, you know, defective gene resulted in the production. No, prevented the production of. It was damn easy question. 
just two eliminations that is what elimination does it's so easy to do and that this is the method i want you to have in your gut gut means in your subconscious mind that you should know it you should know that and how about the fifth question is it right or wrong right sir right yeah. then i did not overthink i was lucky i was not overthinking because i know in my final exam there would be 10 questions like question number 5 that is why i am telling you again and again do only easy questions first if there are 22 questions in the reading do 10 easy questions first in around 20 minutes suppose after imagine after 20 minutes you have done 10 questions they were easy they are right you did not spend energy because they were easy you were po positive about your exam because they were easy now you have to fetch only four to five questions you have got 25 minutes for five questions that mean in five minute even if you do one question right you will pass so what kind of a great feeling that would be so please do only easy questions for some questions would be like question number 5 and you will think in the exam oh my god that's so easy so please be very careful about it this is dr bupesh from dr b k m o i t institute we will talk more and we will record more today so you can see more of our sessions today of uh, the youtube followers but yeah i'm trying to cover more things today and trying to record more normally i do not do much recording because i want you guys to participate thank you very much and now do will do further recordings after asking you thank you